I think fall is everyone's favorite season because regardless of the colds that come around and the leaves falling down, it's a time, it's a season for change. A moment that we get to seize for new opportunities, new chances, do-overs, opportunities to get a makeover, to cherish the cozy moments, to rebrand our fashion looks, rebrand our social media. It's a moment to drop the madness of the chaos in life and just romanticize the little things. The little things that perhaps we had forgotten in the summer. The little things we had been too busy to notice before. It's a time for visiting bookstores and curling up on the couch and watching cozy movies and drinking apple cider from the local cider man. It's a time to go walk in outside, enjoy the crisp, fresh air filling your lungs, look at the colors of the leaves, the leaves that are dying, that are falling down, but before they go out, they give one glorious last show. It's a moment in time where everything feels fresh and new and you feel alive. You get up in the morning and you're excited for the day, excited to do something different, to go on an adventure. I decided to take the girls out for breakfast. I never take the kids out for breakfast. So I gave them a little talking to and said, okay, this is how it's going down. We're gonna sit here, we're not gonna get up, we're not gonna talk loud. We're gonna wait patiently for the waitress. We're gonna get our food, we're gonna eat our food nicely. And if you guys are loud and crazy, we can't do this stuff again. I don't know why we go for sweet food because we don't like sweet food in this family. We prefer savory, but this is fall. So it's pumpkin season, so we had to go around and find local places and try all their pumpkin stuff. Now, I'm a pumpkin fan personally, but my husband and kids are not. So I also had to think about them. And while I do like sweet things occasionally, like the more I work out, the more I like sweet stuff, like especially donuts. I don't think I ever had donuts before I started working out, but now all of a sudden I'm a donut fanatic only from Beachwood Donuts. And then there's this one vegan place in Toronto that I love as well but I realized that the plainer the donuts the better they taste I wanted to hit up the library but it was Sunday I kept thinking it was this day was Monday but no it was Sunday so the library didn't open till noon and we had to go see Henry at his work we wanted to bring him some treats especially since he was working on the weekend so we skipped the library we just returned some books and we had hit the road we headed to Henry's, we stopped at the pie plate. I don't know why I always space out on their name. It's like the best savory food that's local in Virgil. I like mom and pop shops better, you know. That's all I could find for breakfast was the chain restaurant, the little pancake shop. So we went to we went to the pie plate, we got a lot of savory delicious foods that the breakfast bun is so good with egg in it and also I like the croissants that are stuffed with ham and cheese their croissants are perfectly crispy on the outside and then so full of uh, the texture is just perfect it's like crunchy and then gooey and then ooey and then sticky it felt really good to balance out the very sweet breakfast that we had. I would give the pecan uh, waffles like a rating out of out of 10. I would give them like a 4. They were not so good. Every time I eat out, I am convinced of one thing and one thing only. I really need to start a restaurant. I always try to eat out because I'm sick of cooking and, and baking and doing all that from stuff from scratch all the time so occasionally I like to treat myself and get a break from cooking get a meal off but every time I do I'm just convinced that my food is so much better that makes me want to start my restaurant get it up and going and then I looked at the amount of calories on a serving for a plate of pancakes or waffles and my mind was just Alone. That is like the amount of calories a typical, average, healthy, semi-active woman should be eating in a day for one meal for breakfast. So I was just shocked. I mean, if you want to treat yourself, treat yourself. But I can imagine some people eat like that every day. That's just crazy to me because I would say my home-cooked 
breakfasts and lunch and supper is about 500 calories per meal, mainly focusing heavy on protein. That's the only thing, I, like I don't track. I have tracked before just for kicks, like to see how I'm doing, sometimes get my mindset back on track. But nah, it's, it's you definitely wanna enjoy your life and your food, especially in the fall. Okay, fall is the stuffing season. It's when you see the chipmunks and the squirrels stuffing their cheeks with food for the winter. Fall is when you're allowed to indulge like crazy. It's the season when where food tastes extra good and it's cozy. You want to put on a couple extra pounds so that you're warm and snug in that sweater when you're walking around picking apples and going on adventures. It's definitely the season to indulge in food and drink and merriment, pleasure and all things artsy and crafty. To me, a perfect fall day included relaxing and doing something I hadn't done for a while. Another thing that we love to do in the fall is we love long walks. We walk around our neighborhood. We don't actually celebrate Halloween or set up uh, for Halloween at all. The kids are very into the spooky season, but personally, I just... I like to stay away from spooky things. I did paint some ghost pictures with them and we did paint a black cat on a pumpkin and all that, but we don't go out trick-or-treating but or decorate for Halloween. But what we do like to do is we like to look around at other people's lawns. The kids have a love-hate relationship with all things spooky. They want to go look at them. They're so into looking at them. When we're shopping at Costco, they're like, let's go look at them. And then when we get there, they start hiding and crying. And then as soon as we leave the store, they're like, when can we go back and look at them? So that's the same feeling as we walk around the neighborhood. We drive by at night sometimes and we look at all the lights. That is another family tradition. We just look at everyone else's Halloween things. <laughs> and this day I decided to actually take the kids into the Halloween store and when Callie saw the clown, the big giant clown, she actually started to cry and she got stuck behind some people and the other mom's like, let her pass, let her go back to her mom. And so it was a little scary for her, but also the second we left the store, they asked if we could go back in again. I have never brought them in a Halloween store before, but I decided, hey, let's be a little different this year since we can't go to the pumpkin patch because of the weather and this is the last day that they're open and we're just getting over cold, so I'm not going to go in the weather just to shoot a video. So we went to the Halloween store and we tried on little outfits and the kids freaking loved it. I was also thinking of going to Starbucks versus Timmy's first thing in the morning instead of going to eat out, but I decided not to do that because that seemed too ordinary, too mundane. I think so many people are overdoing that this year. Also, I wanted to hit up the pumpkin patch, but it was raining all day. I mean, it was a perfectly melancholy day. So I didn't want to sit up at home on the couch. We had already done that all month because I've been recovering from COVID still. But after a month at home, we had to get out. We had to do something. The day was a little different than I had planned or expected, but it worked out fine. And I actually took a moment and read a chapter out of Henry's fiction book. Henry reads the fiction series, not me. I actually haven't picked up a fiction book since I was a teenager, even though I read a lot of them back then. I just haven't had the time to read like I would like to. So currently, I am sitting around watching the Gilmore Girls every chance I get when I'm like brushing my teeth in the bathroom, when I'm nursing Lucian for a second, when the kids are napping and I can't use the laptop or 
whatever. I just, on my phone, I watch Gilmore Girls on Netflix. I think I'm on season four now. It's my first time watching it, but I decided, oh, this is a cutesy fall thing. And I'm really drawn to it, mainly because of the relationship between Lorelai and Rory. Lorelai seems to have the friendship of a mother down pat as well as like establishing some like Rory respects her because of how her mother treats her so she's not like going out and getting into trouble and I think I I, I agree with that 100% because that was my relationship with my mother like I was Rory and my mother was Lorelai and so I get that but I am currently struggling with my own young children in the path to motherhood. Like, where do I stand? How do I raise them? How do I make this work? I want to be fun, but I'm still the mother. And I'm a bit overwhelmed because I have a bunch of young children. But I'm kind of excited for the age when they're teenagers and we can be close and we can talk about everything. But the thing is, I'm laying the foundation for that right now. I love Mama. I was gonna have us just eat donuts for supper, like we didn't have enough sugar already that day. But then I decided last minute, oh Henry's been working hard all day, we should have some real food and I really want some real food. So I just threw all the leftovers together in a rice bowl and it was delicious and amazing. I wanted to watch something that was a little like maybe Halloween-ish, but again, not spooky, not too scary. We have young kids and it was right before bed, so we decided to watch Slumberland. It was really good. It was actually, <laughs> Henry cried. Henry cries in kid movies. He said there's nothing like him. Um, it was a cute, sweet story. It was a little scary, but you definitely should watch it. I recommend it. I don't know if you guys have special movie nights or just movie nights in your house, but if you take a couple seconds extra to make them super special and cozy, like often I will put bedding on the floor in the living room and sometimes I'll put the kids little stuffed animals or their pillows or blankets out and then I will get like a really special snack. We have done frozen yogurt bowls before. We have done um, like a candy bar before where you fill your own bowl with little different candies. We have done a mixed popcorn and chip bowl. We have done cinema popcorn at home we, with those little, you know, cute containers you can get at the dollar store that are red, white, striped that say popcorn on them. I just want to continue to do like special little things. But yeah, that's what I'm doing, sitting around, enjoying this fall, the last day of October. I hope you guys are all enjoying your your Halloween, your October 31st. I hope you're keeping these moments close and the ones you hold dear close. And just sip a cup of hot cocoa for me, will ya? Thanks for watching. It really means a lot, guys. And uh, hope to see you in November for a Harry Potter birthday.